me. <laughs> Delegates, I am so excited to be here with you today. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Delegates, are you ready? Yes. I'm Erin May Quaid. I am ready. I am here to earn your endorsement. I am ready to work and I am ready to win in November. I was born and raised in this community. I am from and of this community. I've lived here my whole life. Every experience I seek to bring to this role was shaped in this community. My passion for, uh, for politics was carved in an Eastview High School government honors class where my teacher was one of the first people to encourage me to speak up for what I believe in. My ability to form human connection and share was built in a Greenleaf Elementary School classroom. And my passion and drive were carved at a middle school swimming pool and softball field, including this one, remember dad, where I hit my first home run. This <laughs> softball field. There is no greater honor than continuing to serve the community that raised me and instilled my values in me. And it's the love that I have for this community that has really gotten me through some hard times. And I do want to take a minute to just acknowledge the collective pain and trauma we have been through in the last few years. The climate crisis that is displacing millions of Americans and killing millions of Americans every year in wildfires and floods, freezing temperatures and healthcare crises and record high temperatures. The horrifically public murders of black Americans, including George Floyd, which was yet another painful reminder for some of us in this community about the devastating effects of systemic racism. And for some of us, it was an awakening to what's been happening for too long in our country. This pandemic that has driven division and killed more than a million Americans, left millions more with chronic disabilities without parents, and laid bare the inadequacy of so many of our systems, our child care system, our cherished elder care system, our health care system, our housing system, our economy, which is still in the grips of corporate greed and power. And we had an insurrection where we saw millions of, or where we saw hundreds of Americans try to take away our power and overturn our democracy. That is a lot. But delegates, I want to tell you that I see our way through this. I have so much faith in our ability to meet the challenges placed before us head on. These combining concurrent crises have presented us with the unique opportunity to truly address our root causes and solve problems at their core and bring change about in our lives instead of trying to tinker on the edges. For the last 12 years, I have been organizing in this community and across the state, digging in deep on the issues that get us out of bed in the morning or keep us awake at night. Organizing, building coalitions, writing policy, working alongside community, and getting things done. So believe me when I tell you, this is our moment to build our future together to unlock the powerful, life-affirming, transformative kind of politics that means we can help achieve safe and sustainable communities, create economic opportunity and prosperity, and safeguard our civil and human rights, and strengthen our human and public infrastructure. Excuse me. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Woo! Okay. We know that every issue that impacts our ability to thrive in this state is human-made, which means that humans are uniquely qualified to solve them. I am ready to build that bright future together. Delegates, are you ready to build that future together? Are you ready to build that future together? Delegates, this work will not be easy because we are not in easy times. Here is what we are up against. Politics of fear and division, narratives that seek to divide us along race, class, gender, geography, that tell us to turn away from one another or be scared of one another. We reject those false narratives. Right, delegates? We reject those false narratives. This, this is about more than just the Senate seat. This is about building momentum and returning every elected leader to office that shares our vision. Governor Walls, Lieutenant Governor Flanagan, Representative Angie Craig, Keith Ellison, Steve Simon, Julie Blaha, who we love, Representative Beerman and John Hewitt, we have to return every person who shares our vision to elected office. This is about building the momentum that moves us towards that brighter future, a future where all Minnesotans can thrive. It will require a multiracial, multi-generational coalition that embodies the lived experiences of Minnesotans. Delegate, the work ahead requires leaders who know how to center the expertise of those most impacted, connect our movements to public policy, and know how to do the deep work of building alongside community. 
The work ahead will require leaders who understand how to connect the deeply personal issues we face to the systemic issues. For me, it was the personal stories of loved ones whose families were shot and killed by guns that led me to fight to pass gun violence prevention measures in the House and lead a sit-in on this House floor when Republicans tried to look away. It was, it was the story of a mentally or criminally ill veteran whose wife could not stay in her home when he passed that led me to change the law, work across the aisle, work with the counties, work with the Department of Veterans Affairs to make sure that she could stay in that house and pass a bill through a Republican-controlled House and Senate that had languished for five years. It was meeting the mom of a disabled child who launched me headfirst into fighting for disability justice so disabled Minnesotans have equitable education, access to housing, and are no longer forced to work for a sub-minimum wage. Delegate, it takes work to build deep relationships. It takes the requirement of knowing the intricacies of how to work through the legislature and own your decisions, work with community, balance the decisions that come down to a yes or no vote. This is the deep work, the heart wired work that is required of all of us. I have done none of this work alone, whether it's building the largest reproductive justice and health rights of justice coalition in the state, or founding the People of Color Legislators Caucus, or working with the Childhood Hunger Caucus, this is work that is done in coalition. So delegates, are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready to build a bright future? Yeah. Are you ready to tackle climate change and gun violence? Will we fund our public schools? Pass universal health care for every Minnesotan? Protect and defend our state of democracy? Are you ready? I am ready. We have the vision to build our communities, and we have the power to do it together. Together, we can create systems that support us and remove barriers to providing great life for our families. So can I count on your support, delegates? Thank you so much. I'm Erin May Quinn. I hope I earn your support. I realize I may get in trouble for saying this, but something really important just happened, and something really disgusting just happened. We have a woman in active labor Justin Emrich won the coin flip, and he could not wait 10 minutes to let this woman go first. I, I will leave. I understand. But you, you, you are in. I understand. Just thinking um, women's rights. That, that statement was out of order. I understand. I, however, we have reached the, the deadline for submitting questions to the Q&A, and I'm 